spin the nation. Spin the dial, 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 spin the nation. This is the flagship uh, mid-century phone book. So you can see area code 319. The area code's been standardized. If you've been following our amazing series, you would have realized that the last video we shot was on 1954. So one of the things that I really want to highlight is kind of the standardization and the size differential. I am going to bring back our little buddy in 1954. As you can see, here's here they are side by side. Look at the, look at the size difference in that. Look at the binding, the thickness, and all that. It's pretty, pretty interesting. So I'm going to get rid of that. We're not going to reference that again. The back. Calling long distance, use low cost direct dialing. So now you don't have to go, Betty, get me California. You can just dial it in directly because it really talks about 10-digit dialing, standardization, all these different ways. So that, that was something where it kind of was one of the first more automated methods of communication. And it's kind of highlighting that on the back. So again, spin the dial, spin the nation, and this really trippy, hippie, kind of hypnotic thing with, I don't know if that's a princess phone or some sort of more modern design phone. But here we are. These are emergency numbers, contact information. I don't know what you'd put there, but that's the info. And here we can kind of see the zip codes. We can see 319, and then it breaks down what the 319 is. It's Cresco, Dubuque, Davenport. Burlington and all this stuff. A lot of these area codes, actually Dubuque and Davenport, um, and I think Cresco too, are actually part of the 563 area code that's put off in 19, or sorry, 2001. And that was the last time in Iowa area codes put off. So you can just kind of see here's some of the information area codes. I think we're in names. So we're going to just skip through the name stuff because what we really want to look at is the business, is the important commerce and the economics that kind of go along with that. So we'll start at the beginning of that. As you can tell, we really took a long time to make sure we highlighted that page with the sticky note. Um, here we go. So the yellow pages, classified telephone directories. And this still has the art that the original 1954 one has. You can kind of see that. Um, Listed here, still a lot of adding machine ads. Air conditioning. You don't want her hair to go bad. You better get that air running. Action advertising. Reaches postage at the moment they're ready to buy. What's that say? Prospects. See, I'm reading it upside down. So the, I can spell. It's just harder when it's upside down. It's like you're drunk. But then it also has the Northwest Bell phone number and just some ways to advertise. NYP advertising. I don't know what that is, but that looks cool. Um, here's some more of the ads. Hey, handy zip codes. The zip code really came out, and that's Zippy the Zip Code Zipper. And <laughs> <laughs> he came out in like the 1960s. His name really is Zip or something. Zippy or some crazy name. And then, oh, local missing persons. I guess they have a number for that. And all that here. Oh, apartments. This is kind of cool. Realty management. And let's see, what are those locations? That's still around the Chateau or Chalet. Um, I think a lot of these. Is that the plantation? Yes. <laughs> so where's the plantation at? What's it say? It doesn't even list the address. It just says... It's uh, 30, what, one, one, uh, 143 to 37th thir so Street Northeast. Oh, wow. That's, uh, I don't think you're going to, I don't think they advertise that anymore. No. Especially if they're like Section 8, they're like targeting like Chicago area. I remember a yellow book. Um, this is a funny story. There was a, a uh, somebody got a call. They wanted to make an ad for, this was down south. They actually had a restaurant called the, the Plantation, and uh, it was it was like Southern themed. It was like it was themed to be like a Southern plantation, and uh, it was uh, it was it was very politically incorrect. Did they did they run it? They did. They still ran. Wow, I felt like I me and you both worked at an anonymous phone publishing company. That's why we 
are really into that. They're an independent company. We haven't worked there for years. But anyhow, um, that's one of the reasons we're both really in the phone books. And I sold an ad to an escort service, and there was a lot of common. It was kind of crazy. Long story short, they're very prudish, and they want money, but then they have values. At some extent. Anyhow, interesting business. Iowa Manufacturing Company. This is Cedar Rapids, Inc. This was Howard Hall's company. If we can zoom right there, that's the advertisement there. Um, and that's That was Howard Hall, the guy who did Bruce Moore. And this is the evil Koch brothers. Ugh. Ugh. No, but this isn't actually them. But they got a lot of hate mail. They've been around since the 1890s. But it's of no relation to the guys that are the Koch brothers that fund all the Republican right-wing evil hate shit that a lot of the people are hating on. Um, but just thought I'd mention that. Oh, wow, look at these car ads. I love car ads. The People's Volkswagen. What's what's uh, Volkswagen stand for? Is it that the People's Wagon or something like yeah. that? It's like the German car. They really distance themselves from the Hitler history of it. And you never see a swastika on it or any sort of nazi symbolism they just really kind of keep it with that and i do respect them in, in a lot of ways these bugs are a really cool symbol i love those buses i love the old hippie buses they're really cool never want to own any of their vehicles but it's cool that they're able to make that work um here and so you can just kind of see these are some older car brands and some older car varieties that are available the chevy dealer you know and this is really before a lot of mass consolidation of brands and cars were, were happening. Jeep. Jeep's pretty cool. Imperial, Ford, Dodge, Chrysler, Mercedes. So, Allen Motor Company. Allen Motor Company was around the market here from 1902. They were founded, and they were the big deal until, I would say, around 2003. Then they sold their business to Lithium. Then Lithium over leveraged their ass and overpaid for a bunch of dealers and ended up going bankrupt or some crazy thing. Then another family, an Irish family, took over a majority of the dealerships and managed to take over a lot of the land that was once Allen Motor Company's land. Um, they're actually the largest landholders in Hiawatha where a lot of these car dealerships moved to. Um, Triumph, this is that. that's another car brand there. Plymouth, Opal, all these different brands. There's the Volkswagen again. And I really like this ad. This was the working people's car company. Use cars. Second, cars are our specialty because it ain't going to be running that often. And then if you're working, we can deal, you know, weekly payments available. So it's really uh, edge auto. Um, it really tries to make it accessible to the working people of the community because a lot of them, they blew a lot of money. Maybe they weren't the best with budgeting. Maybe a Model T is the best they could do, you know, in 1967. A 1913 Model T is what they're going to be rolling in. Be like, yo, baby, I'm going to crank this engine. We're going to be off. We're going to be in my open air Model T. Because that's just, you know, that's what they got. They got to do the best that they got. You know, here's some more car ads. And the car ads are really cool. You can really tell they're like these 60, you know, idiot mobiles, as a buddy of mine calls them, because they just got guzzle gas. And they don't really have the safety features and that. They're just these big boxes. But they're cool. I mean, they're still, it's still an era and it's still kind of what people did back in the day there. I don't know. You can tell there, there's a lot more emphasis on photography, and there's not not quite as much illustration. Yeah, it's not quite as decorative as the as the fifty four uh, book. It looks a little bit more kind of like a modern uh, phone book. Well, yeah, with the size, with the standardization of the phone numbers, they don't really have the zip codes. That's Merchants National Bank. I think that eventually became either U.S. Bank or Wells Fargo. Um, a lot of these banks just ended up consolidating. Um, Citibank, First National. Um, I think they're going to tie into a savings and loan at some point. There's It's daddy. Long just Oh, that's sad. That's, oh man, that's probably like a Vietnam War type of thing. Because this is 1967. Yeah. You know, that probably like her, her dad is stationed somewhere. Or he could be working somewhere. You took it like the most extreme, like... Well, I, I'm just taking into account like the, the, the era we're talking about, you know. It just kind of gave it sort of this sort of macabre twist. So these are the guys. So this is their thing. I like this one. This is Ooh, a that's nice a foxy lady there. Yeah. Beautiful hero. Beautiful woman. And, and the S kind of shapes in there with the scissors. So they really had to differentiate themselves 
with uh, the different ads here. What would you do? I don't know. What would tell you tell me? Forgotten the name of a business? The firm recommended to you? A look in the yellow pages. This was, I mean, this was back when people looked shit up. Yeah, I'd say they looked stuff up to about 20 years ago. Here's a nice little Boeing supply ads. Boating is our business, not a sideline. So they don't like multiple revenue streams, evidently. And this is the Cedar Rapids Marina sales. I don't even know if that's in business anymore. I kind of feel like it's not. Uh, but we'll look here, and we'll just focus on the bigger ads. Fancier stuff here. Herbals, building materials. Center Point Road. Center Point Road, if, if we look at this ad was really kind of a big deal. The east side was always kind of more developed in the area, but even back then, Center Point Road was kind of the Collins Road of the 1970s, only with like less than 60s, with less chains, more ma and pa shops. There was less consolidation of ownership and management in various uh, things. Look at these different buses. Missouri Transit Lines, bus charter, American Wood Shop. Get your wood. <laughs> so we get that. Uh, different carpeting. So they got a lot of different ads here. Oh, shout out to Kenwood. Yep, the Kenwood one. That used to be its own community until about 1926. It merged with Cedar Rapids. Um, covered Wagon Catering. We don't know when we catered it. We don't know what the hell you're getting. It's whatever's in this aluminum foil, and it's in a wagon that's covered. Johnson's Mobile Catering. So it's kind of interesting. I, with, with, if we look at these ads, and then we kind of look at them here, Dostos is still back around in catering. How much of these catering and how much of these food trucks? Cool. So we have about a fourth of the um, Palmer graduates of the Davenport Palmer School of uh, chiropractic medicine you can see there's this guy there's all these different people that are palmer grads and i feel like it's only tolerated now uh you know like 50 years later with the sheer number of palmer grads here's some cool stuff what's this uh cleaners alberts and then other cleaners Ooh, i don't think any of these are still in business though radio controlled peppermint fleet Alberts, the radial controlled peppermint fleet. They're part of Willy Wonka's crew. You know. Dempstays, Troy. Huh. So these are just some of the different uh um yeah, cleaning companies. Here's cement ones. Kind of a cool truck. Mm. A few more cement. Ready mix concrete, still have the red trucks with that. King's concrete is there. I wonder if Hawkeye is still. the operator and if you want to kind of skip like skip some sections or pages that's okay cranes different trades with that hope town I think that tied in the high V those were just some of the different stores there this is kind of cool the door companies that guy I think he started sweets door company in 1951 and he ran it until the 90s um, it, it split off in the two separate companies he wouldn't let the brand go but the locations pretty cool it's on Collins Road and and all that I think it's where uh, um, Granite City is now and here's our postal zip code zippy again Sleep well tonight, knowing you have a land night. Mm. Coke Brothers again, they have another ad. Mm. 
did we go did, was this already stuff that we covered which direction were we going we were headed to, toward the end of the book and so this way we're going, yeah, right going that way different force <laughs> novak 24 7 service for furnaces heating cooling all that we're forced what's there This is cool. This is the Lint Oil Co-op. Yep. Very familiar with them. Yep. I'm actually a member. All those farm kids are. Yep. So it's kind of cool. And they're still around, still have ads. Different auto glass stuff. Auto glass businesses. Hair better. Hair better. Yeah, she's going to get a hairdo. That's a very loud hairdo. <laughs> oh, God. Wow, 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 wow. Hotel oh, Rosemont. Somebody would have. That's so, cool. That's a place you wanted to live at one point. Yeah. Yep. I looked into living there. I still think it would be kind of a cool place to live, but uh, maybe, maybe someday. Yeah, we'll see. So oh, those are just kind of some of the cooler. Oh, Midwest Janet. Well, it's not Midwest Janitorial. But maybe, maybe that's the company that that it that, that it became. Or yeah. That. Just checking before we get to that one. I just thought. Oh, IMT Insurance. What? IMT. Are they still around? I never even heard of them. Yes, they are still around. What's IMT? Iowa Mutual. Mutual. Uh, okay. Something. Cool. Yeah, they're an insurance company. Wow, that's... based in Des Moines. A cool company I'd never heard of. Uh, the janitor dude looks happy. Yeah. Look the happiest year. Become a janitor, kids. You know, aim high in life because, you know, the prestige and the degrees, they ain't worth it. Oh, does this say Seeky Hoyt? Uh, yes. So they're, they're a big deal. Big jewelry company and all that. Let's get them right there. I still know some of the families that run it, and it's just cool that it's still going on still. Suburban Lumber Company. Get your get some wood. And a lot of these other ones shut down. Suburban is still um, operational on the west side of town. They took over Payless, um, which was another uh, hardware store or whatever. Now they just do wood. This is cool. The new, the Bohemia Savings and Loan Association. You really don't see savings and loans anymore like you saw them in A Wonderful Life. <laughs> but, and that was in 46. But in the 80s, there was a savings and loans crisis. And that's really when the term too big to fail originated from. And it ties into uh, just crazy lending and just out of control stuff from back in the day then. Oh, uh, doggone it! I, I, I don't have your money. It, it's in Bell's house and Fred's house. <laughs> and then, uh, also going with that, this eventually became Perpetual Savings Bank, or whatever. It was reorganized in the late eighties, early nineties, um, when all these when all these savings and loans with bust, and uh, now it's part of like Wells Fargo or some huge bank or something. I don't really remember. The Cedar Rapids Loan Company. One of them, they have an ad where it looks like a loan shark. We don't ask questions. You don't ask questions. We'll get you the money. Just pay us 50% interest in two weeks or a busted kneecap. Yeah. Oh, that, that's a guy. That was one of them that I thought looked kind of kind of shady. Um, some of them do. Dial, dial for money. <laughs> $25 to $2,000. Very straightforward ad. The People's Finance Company. It sounds like it's kind of some weird Marxist one for, you know, post-World War II. And this was at the height of the Cold War, yeah. so it's amazing that they, uh, that, that, uh, that that was uh, a lot. Oh, this is actually, I was wrong. The Bohemia one earlier, it was actually this one that became Perpetual Savings. 
Um, the Bohemia one, I don't, I don't remember the the whole thing with that. But yeah, that's another savings and loan in Iowa. Uh, like getting free gas. Merchants International. Um, I think they became part of U.S. Bank years later, like after twelve mergers with all the other banks in town. Um, oh, that's a cool car. What's whose lock and key is it? All I know is it says lock and key. Cedar Rapids lock and key, maybe. Is that yeah. a locksmith, I think. Yeah, it's a it's just kind of cool. Hi- is, oh, see, yeah, that's cool. Hiawatha, and it actually. It's actually an image of a Native American girl. Yeah, so it's fitting in, for the word. In the ad. These days, you know, Hiawatha, they kind of seem to sort of downplay the meaning of the name. It was named after a, a trailer that the guy who founded Hiawatha. It was, but the original the original name Hiawatha it was an it was an, it was a Native American maiden in history. I forget exactly what her role was in history. But um these days, when you when you see Hiawatha, the Hiawatha sign, they emphasize the high. They've they've created this marketing campaign that's like Hiawatha, and it's kind of a, it's kind of I, I always felt uncomfortable with it because it seems like it's not really true to the history of what the name actually is. But. Speaking of Hiawatha, here's one of the core components: a trailer park, Tower Terrace, and it's a big deal right now because they want to get another trailer park um, put in. Or sorry, not Trailer Park. They want to put a, an exit ramp on Tower Terrace Road, uh, past Boyson Road in the Hiawatha area. It's going to lead to a lot of development. It's going to get a high V. Marion Mobile Home Courts, and I like the word courts because it makes it sound like if you're living in one of these, you know, you're going to end up there in one time or another. Whether it's divorce, bankruptcy, whatever, they repo your trailer. They just tow it away. West Park Mobile Home Court. It's interesting. Freddy's Mobile Homes. Part Mobile Homes. Just how they advertised and, and positioned these. Um, oh, hey. I, you would, know. I wouldn't be surprised if back in this era, uh, living in a home, living in a trailer wasn't considered quite as shameful as it is now. It probably wasn't. Oh, you're saying they, they didn't frown upon it as much? Not as much. I would guess because people didn't like. I mean, I don't know. Where, have trailer have trailer parks always had a reputation for being like really shitty? And Probably. Just, you don't own your land. Yeah. All you do is you just rent it, and you just stuck with that shit. And it's just. I mean, maybe. I'm sure, I mean, I'm sure they were always uh, they were always like kind of not ideal. Yeah, I mean, you know, there's landed the, gentry. There's the road salt again. Diners Club. What's this one say? Members, something, cards, American, what's that say? Express. So two credit cards and then some other club. Fresh, clean, level. So this was actually a hotel more so. Like it was more a hotel than it was affordable housing. And then hometown, a few more hotels. Howard Johnson. This is now the budget in. Uh, don't know where that's at. That one's still in Marion. Uh, that one's affordable housing now. Oh, is that the one on 7th mm-hmm. Avenue? That's that one. That is not too far from where I live. Uh, the lighting is bad. Helping. Here we go. So, hi. Zoom. Same phone thing. number. Focus. There we go. Oh, wow. It looks just the same. Yeah. They really haven't invested a lot in the last 50 years. Shit, they got the same mattress. Yeah. (laughs) Crusty and hard as a rock. Transfer company. Bell Transfer. Ace Transfer. Hex Transfer. I don't think... Oh, I've seen those. Hex is still around. I've seen them around. These guys are gone, pretty much, but... Uh, Hex is still around. Broderick School of Music. See, that's when you had a music school when you didn't have to go $150,000 in debt just to play a music instrument. Does it say Halfway House? Yes. What the hell is that? Dabby's Halfway House. Serving herbs, famous barbecue ribs, dancing nightly. 
wow, that's the that's the funnest ha- halfway house I've ever heard of. That's the weirdest freaking ad in this whole book. <laughs> little Caesars with a machine gun. It's like Little Chicago, I guess. Yep, featuring you. These are nightclubs. This was back when, yeah, nightclubs were a, were a certain way. They were classier than they are now. <laughs> and uh, if you were an adult, you were kind of expected to go to these places and listen to some Frank Sinatra and uh, and whatever. Because that. A lot of ads there. That. The Green Thumb. I think that's still in business. Rings a bell. Oh. Furniture and supplies. All that. Different oil companies. Glasses and contact lenses. Capital Optical. Those are like totally 60s looking too. These guys are still around. I think they've been around since 1902. That paint company. May's Drugstore. Look at all these locations. Downtown. They got that one, that one. East Side. They got one, two, three, three of them. Then they got one on the west side and one in Marion. And they're all gone now. Yep. Paramount Pharmacy. All these are the different pharmacies that were around here. You got other pharmacies here. This was one of the last independent ones to go. You could get in and go in there and get a whole case full of horse tranquilizers. No questions asked. Hey, free delivery. Twice a day. Yeah. The drug de- the state licensed drug dealers come to you. Yeah. No, you can't be smoking the weed, but you can get all kinds of like uh all kinds of uh weird over the counter drugs at your pharmacist. Vernon Heights Pharmacy, the beautiful southeast side. So and Maze is kinda cool. Maze drug stores, okay. And here's some photography stuff. Different photos. Secretary helps family members handle busy schedules. Your telephone. Here's these photos. That's That's cool. Nice looking camera there. Yep, these next page or two will probably have some cool ones. Again, more photo ads. Photo and high fidelity quality photo finishing. Wow. Back in the age of uh, film. Yep. No digital, all film. Film film ruled for over a century, well over a century. Kodak was the core. Kodak was king. Kodak invented the digital camera, but then uh, the... Uh, it was their undoing. Yeah, they didn't, they didn't want to adapt to that market. Here's a lot of restaurants that we still know. I think Bright still has a small piano business. He still does that uh, to some degree or another. Um, Flamingo. Shakey's, I heard, was a pretty cool place back in the day here. These are just different. You know what interests me is is how many ads the phone book has for itself in here. Like, uh, you know, ads for using the telephone. Yeah. You know. Like, it's almost like they're trying to sell themselves in a way. It's Ma Bell propaganda. Yeah, and it's like you you don't see. I mean, you didn't see that years later because it's like it just everybody just took for granted that they were going to use the phone. But this was back when they kind of they kind of must have felt like they still needed to kind of uh, justify like like justify to people having a telephone. With justifying it, the penetration rates of phone ownership was not anywhere near what it is now. Um, also, the ways that the technology changed and the ways it was standardized. It there were, changed a lot. Because there were probably a few Civil War vets still alive who were like, I don't need one of those confounded ringers in my house. <laughs> and you had to, you had to like, talk a lot of old, old farts into uh, buying a, a telephone. You know, it was like a newfangled thing. It'd be like trying to talk your parents into buying a smart TV now. They'd be like, I don't need that thing. My uh, grandparents' mother 
Um, she she never had a phone. Yeah, you know, and a lot of them didn't. It's interesting if you take a look at this Nasos N A S O. It's a pizza parlor in Marion, I believe, still. And I believe it's still around. Mm -hmm. And if you look here, Lee and Ardell's Pizza, which is really a great West Side pizza place, back in the day was probably owned by that same family. John Nasso. Same name as that. In the building. I don't know if it's on 16th Avenue. Oh, yeah, it is. Same location. It just looks a little different. Yep. But uh, I heard the inside still is the red stuff, like the... Uh, the other ones and all that. Here's just some more pizza pies. Tony's Pizza. It's different pizza. Another another ad for the phone book. Close by if you need her. Hmm. Simonic and Zaza. See the Zaza family. I know of them. Hmm. Uh, the Zazas owned that uh, hotel on the west side. Is it the Clarion? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the Clarion Hotel. And they actually had this really cool restaurant. My family, we would go there every Christmas. It was like an annual tradition. And it was called Zazas, and it was a restaurant in the hotel. Hmm. It had this kind of light, kind of dull light pink motif. And it was a very kind of classy place, and it was the kind of place we did not go to very often. But the, that hotel was owned by the Zaza family, and when you went through the hallways and stuff, they had pictures of themselves everywhere. I mean, that that hotel was basically like a shrine to them. Huh. And, and when you go there now, you'll still see a lot of pictures of them on the walls, like their uh, their uh, families. The, the 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 son was this interesting guy. He was kind of a big, heavy guy with a mustache and glasses, and he was a big fan of sports. And in pictures of him with all kinds of different athletes. And he wore these, like, kind of really loud checkered suits. He was, you could tell he was just an interesting guy. I'm probably talking more about the Zaza family than I need to, but it's a huh. it's a very recognizable name. Simonick, I believe that's Czech. Uh, I thought both of them. They kind of both sound like Czech. Zaza right? might be Czech as well. They're two kind of unusual That are hard to say. With a lot of consonants mashed, <laughs> mashed together. <laughs> but, uh... Yeah, and there's that guy. I don't know if he's a Zaza or not, but uh, that is definitely uh, kind of cool. Um, Cashman Plumbing. Different plumbers. All Yep, all kinds of plumbers. Roto Rooter. Roto Rooter. Back around then. Friend, friend brings good news. Always ready for a cheerful chat. Your telephone. See, they're really just drumming it in that you got to have a phone. Your phone is your best friend. Your friend, your your phone is your lover. Your phone is your is your uh, your savior. It'll There's rescue you from loneliness and danger and hunger and want. You can order things on the phone. It is your grand liberator. It will help you transcend space and time and go to a different dimension. Yeah, where you can talk to those who aren't here but are here. You have got to have this loud, annoying thing in your house. Buy it. It's 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 connects you to the world. If you don't have it, you're disconnected. Motorola, big deal. Made the first cellular phones, really innovative. Started in 1928 in Chicago. Um, really did a lot of cool stuff. And they're also tied in. These guys, A1 Radio Telephone Communications, Inc. And this is like the first type of mobile phone. And it tied in through some sort of radio frequency and a phone. So... There's probably going to be more of these ads on the next page. No, there's not. Yeah, and if we look and we see that a page is kind of boring, we can just skip right past it because we do have kind of limited time. This is a cool building. It's still around here. I don't remember what it is off the top of my head, but it's on First Avenue in between, like, St. Luke's and that, that hospital area. Tommy Tucker Realty was still kind of around. There's a lot more variety of realtors now. Midwest Investments. Why that's a big deal? That's the Scoldman building. It's tied into the Scoldmans. Um, they really kind of started their real estate company in 1973, a couple of years later. Uh, and they're a big name you hear about all the time they, in, in this area. Yeah, they control about 40% of the market share of properties sold. See the flame room. It's See, now that's that right there is a statement because it's like, look at us. We don't eat, we're going to take up half of, over half of this page. And we're not even going to give you a picture or anything. 
we're just going to tell you who we are and what we do. Wow. And it's very stark. It's a show of confidence. It's like, we don't even need to show you anything. Uh, we're just going to take mm. this ad out and we can afford to just put out this big blank ad and you're going to come. Just says dial, bitch. Because that's just how baller we are. Yeah, come, <laughs> come over here, bitch. That's pretty much it. Oh, Roosevelt again. Yeah, the Roosevelt man. Wow. They were the big deal. Wasn't that kind of, I mean, around this time, they were kind of transitioning, I think, into apartment buildings. Like, the, the part of the hotel was already like. Well, this is for a restaurant. It's, they're on their restaurants here. I don't oh, even know what. Well, the, yeah, there probably was a restaurant. Uh, is it the farmhouse? Yeah, the farmhouse looks like it was the restaurant at the time. Huh. Breakfast, lunch, dinner, and famous Grant Wood, Iowa artist art gallery at the farmhouse. Wow, that would have been pretty cool. Lots of Grant Wood art. Grant Wood is all one word. That's kind of odd. That's probably a typo. Or, yeah, uh, maybe they charge them more if they made it two, and they're like, whatever. <laughs> we ain't doing that. West Side Barbecue Pit. See, that, that, that would have been another reason to go over to the west side if they had something like that. Uh, Sid Rell. Oh, wow. Kentucky Fried Chicken. That's yeah. that's the real yeah. deal Colonel, man. He Colonel, ain't messing around. When he was still alive. Yeah. The, the Ranch Supper Club. Another supper club. Oh, go ahead. Cool. Roofing. Is that a giant hand putting a roof on a house? Oh, yeah, it is. It's pretty trippy. It's the hand of God, of the roofing gods. If you go with these guys, they will make you magical work. Here's more roofing hands, too. These are actually people doing the work. Do you want the divine hand of the roofing gods to do your work? Or yeah, it's like those old Allstate commercials. You're in good hands with Allstate, and this big giant pair of hands sweeps you up and like holds you in them and like Ooh. keeps you book from ads. falling off. You a don't cliff. you don't really see a book advertisement. This is really nice. This is probably one of the more aesthetically pleasing ads too. Iowa Book and Supply Company, because even back then they were gouging students for overpriced books so they could spend ads in a Cedar Rapids phone book. Yep, but it's a really beautiful ad. I, I, I do like it. Now it's books with books spelled out and just. You know, pretty sweet. Yep, you can go on. Yeah. Bunch of septic, because we've always had a bunch of shit to deal with. Yep, everybody poops. Oh, an IBM computer lab? Oh, wow. That's in 67. I don't know what EIPC is. Oh, Electronic Computer Programming Institute, Inc. So there's that one. Uh, more, these are service stations. Service station ads. Uh, hey, West Side Sewing. Now they're on the east side. Napster Signs. I feel like we talked about them in the last one, too. Oh, Nesper, yeah. yeah. Nesper Signs, how... Yeah, I wonder if that Garland, the Tom Garland guy, if he's ever going to take over... Or if he's going to just, uh, if he's really serious about the comedy stuff and is going to commit to that. I don't know. Cedar Rapids Sporting Goods. A lot of sports stores. They're just kind of cool. Yellow cabs. Taxi ads. No Uber for you. Only... City regulated radio dispatched ones, but that was kind of the Uber of the day. Look at this solve teenager telephone tie up. Teenagers who keep the family phone humming need a telephone line all their own. <laughs> Prevents, quote, homework calls from interfering with grown ups' use of family phone. Yep, so they're trying to get you to get a second line. Yep, a teen line. For your teenager. So that they can get down to all kinds of stuff and you don't even know. Like they can talk privately uh, and uh, make all kinds of plans and get into all kinds of trouble that you don't even know yep. about. Those rich kids with the teen lines. And other stuff that's kind of cool communications problems that these guys had an answering service way back in 67. You can see answering service 24 7. They got a couple of answering services here. And that, like, 50 years ago, people were still using answering services yeah. for different stuff. I think the uh, the answering machine came out in the 80s. Mm. 
all, look at the television. You can see that this is really a growth market. It's how many TV guys. You got like Daryl's Video City and maybe like one other guy that does TV repair. But here it's like a big deal. It was a growing market. People were buying TVs. They all had these like hippie vans kind of that they're <laughs> hooking you up with the TV. But... <laughs> Boner radio and TV. <laughs> oh, Boner radio and TV. Since 1929, you know, given <laughs> getting some hard line connections with Boner. You know, yeah. At least it says, are you, oh, for, what's their slogan say? Service is in which Cedar Rapids has confidence. Yeah. Would have said, if it said with the personal touch, <laughs> it would have been better or something yeah. like that. But, you know, like it's funny how slang terms like, you know, people think dirtier and dirtier as the years go by. Yeah. My, my uh, dad was telling me about a uh, company in Monticello called Cuckler. Oh. And, and I was like laughing, and he was getting pissed off at me because, <laughs> like, he didn't know why I, <laughs> why, I, why I was laughing. And I told him, "Do you know what a cuck is?" And he's like, "No." And I explained it to him, and he was still pretty annoyed with me <laughs> because every time he said the word "cuckler," I'd burst out laughing, and he kind of got frustrated with me. But anyway, they'll Taylor straight that point. <laughs> <laughs> love to see their love to see their ad. Yeah. Uh, uh, here's trailers. We're nearing the end of this. Look at U-Haul. That's pretty cool. Big ad. U-Haul was around back then. Volkswagen towing. You know, when you need to tow the towing it, service of the people. <laughs> well, I guess that's more Russian. But yeah, yeah, it's still some Nazi people car. Indoors or outdoors. There's a public telephone nearby. Some may even use it as a bathroom. If they're too intoxicated to know, or just rip out the phone book. So, so grab onto that thing and put it next to your mouth. Oh, quit talking about boring. <laughs> oh, I think this is still a tree service. Breeding's tree service. I'm pretty sure I've seen ads for them. I know a lot of people. They have a well. They have a tree service where, and then they, and then in the winter they they uh, they uh, plow they plow uh, driveways. And so they can kind of cover the whole year. Yep. 